on a time crunch, so we're going to try to fly through this pretty quickly. I'll just hand it off to Giles. Can you see my screen, Ashley? I can. Cool. So we've got this into InVision now, so we can drop comments in as we go down each section. Cool? Okay. Okay. So we've used um, the image you've given us there and the text, and then I've thrown in some new buttons. I'll just quickly explain this top section. So the, the difference with the header up here in the H1 is we've given it some kerning, some space in between the letters to kind of give that space feeling. Um, and with the buttons, um, I struggled. I wanted to change them. You said not to change them, but it wasn't necessary. I felt that the current buttons lacked a little bit of detail. Um, I mean, when you're making buttons, the first thing you do is draw a square around it or a rectangle. Mm -hmm. um, and when we've talk, been talking about the NASA um, influence and inspiration, I kind of wanted the buttons to feel like buttons and look like buttons um, more so than they currently do. Uh, first of all, I tried off rounding them with a border radius of like 10, which is nothing, and it looked like I was kind of rounding them off for the sake of rounding them. So I went full scale the other way, and now you've got as rounded as they'll go. You're gonna, either going to love them or hate them, tell me to put them back. Um, but currently on this mock-up there, throughout throughout the whole thing, okay. so um, we can change that, obviously. But um, did I give you yeah. guys different and placeholder copy for the header in my email that I dropped? I thought I did, um, but maybe not. Uh, I'm not sure. I know I got different copy for these three sections, but I can go back and double check and update okay. that. Okay. Um, so that's the reason why these buttons are rounded. I know that um, some people on our team are mass massively fond of them, but I think they work with the direction we're trying to head, but who knows what you guys will think. Um, okay. but it's something that could be changed easily, but again, we're going to use uh, yellow, your gold colour for the primary uh, button, and then on the hover it's just going to be um, the, the other yellow. The primary has a subtle gradient on it, from the gold to the yellow. Um, and then if you scroll down, all of the other buttons are secondary. And as you hover over them, you're going to get a burst of yellow and black. Same as this hover up here, the primary hover. Okay. So it's really going to ping, ping, kind of be in your face and know that you can click on it. So um, I guess the, the, the contingencies on the lean lab side that aren't crazy about the roundness of the buttons, does anybody have, do have better suggestions or is just a general reaction? I think it's a personal taste thing, and mm. Kevin's not fond of them. He hasn't been in the past. No, I generally am not a giant fan of pill-shaped buttons. Mm -hmm. uh, actually coming a little back, like if you were to watch the web. Um, so I might just have to bite my tongue. But uh, like they're starting to be on several sites. Uh, I agree with the concept mm -hmm. that it is more spacey than a square button. And that has nothing to do with you know, kind of that vibe. So I understand why he's bringing it up. Yeah. Uh, at the same time, like on any of my websites, you're probably not going to find a pill shaped button. It's probably not going to happen. You know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I like the thought behind it being like a purpose driven decision and really making it, you know, it's, it's designed for the sake of making it. But like, I, I personally am also not that drawn to pill shaped mm -hmm. stuff, but I, I'm trying to like overlook like my personal taste for it is what I think looks nice and is on brand. So okay, I'll try and think about that a little bit. Um, I also don't okay. want it to look like old school. You know what I mean? Like I don't want I don't want it yeah. to look look too like you know web. Well, iPhone one. I don't yeah I don't know what web we're in now, but like what did yeah what did, what these buttons are very very similar um, to like the first iPhone release, like those pill shaped buttons. I mean, they, they do look a little bit dated now, but your brand guide heavily is influenced by those metallic kind of gradients, and mm -hmm. that's what, what I'm using. So, okay. um, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't worry about web trends. Like things come in and go all the time. Like if it's on brand, it's on brand. So anyway, there's something yeah. for you guys to think about. Okay. I have a question for you. Stupid you autoplay video. video. If you, I thought I remembered. Like if you go to Neil Patel's site. Uh, he's kind of a big deal. Like he's got totally huge pill shaped buttons. You know, mm -hmm. it is kind of uh, it is kind of happening. That's no preference. Yeah. Okay. So then we've got okay. these three floating boxes, um, minimal as as you can. 
I haven't added any icons here. Um, I have tried icons, and we've reviewed them internally. Um, Miles, you kind of liked the icons, didn't you? Yeah, personally, I I liked them. And what we were talking about internally is that they seem like they're just kind of decoration and they take away from the messaging. And that's why mm -hmm. we ended up pulling them and going with this minimalistic approach. But, I mean, okay. if you had that other comp available, Giles, maybe just let her see a quick glance. Sure. I'm just going to flick back to the old comp. So, this is what I had mocked up. Wow, that's slow. That's really slow. But I find that when I'm sharing my screen, it slows down my browser. I don't know why. Okay. <clears throat> well, there, there it is. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> yeah. The anticipation yeah, building. Let's come back to that um, So I, I, I happen to like it without icons. I mean, I suggested that your current icons are great. Um, however, again, they lacked a little bit of detail to kind of tie them to these titles. But there are other when, options. When you available. say when you say current icons, are you talking about the Helveticons we provided, or the ones that are on the site now? Uh, the ones you provided. Okay. Just making sure those um, are the ones we yeah. would want to use going forward. Okay. Yeah. Um, I did suggest some other icons that have a little bit more detail, like icon packs you can buy, but I happen to prefer it without icons. I'm going to rip past this bit. Um, so the next section, we have like an auto scrolling logo wall here with uh, the title <laughs> we've worked with. Um, we originally talked about doing this as a logo bar, but um, think, thinking back on it, trying to push the site forward. That's something we've done before. Um, and we're looking to refresh the home page with something new, maybe. It kind of is a growth upon what you do now. It just won't be browser based, you know, in terms of where you scroll. It'll scroll 24 7, basically, yeah. kind of like a, a rotating deal. Uh, that'll be better because you'll actually be able to see all the logos. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah, let's try something new, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, underneath that, we have the poster or a kind of banner that we can mm -hmm. um, push further or use the one that's already there. We can throw in some sort of movement or parallax to make it look cool as you scroll down. Miles and I have that. some interesting version two ideas. Like, there's no way that we could kind of code it, copy it, and have it all ready for Monday, but it could. Mm -hmm. In the center, um, you know, what we might want to think about is what we want here for Monday because time is not on our side. Like, I would be really interesting to know the exact imagery that we might want to put or the exact text mm -hmm. if we want to kind of have um, a little bit of a mission section. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, I won't take the time on the call today to explain what Miles and I are kind of thinking of. But what we could do once this is live is start thinking of a phase two of what would make that, that section really cool. We we did cook up a couple of decent ideas for a later discussion. Yep. Okay. I love yeah. it visually. I'm only wondering, like, is it is it a good like is it does it is it from a user experience of what we're trying to get people to do? Like, I love how it looks. It's just is that going to keep people from getting to other things that we want them to do. Yeah. No. If you start with a, a banner with a little parallax, it could just be kind of like a, uh, uh, what do you call it? Like, it, it's, just, it's, just, it's just an element to break up the page. Yeah. Um, okay. And the version two would become a little bit more functional. Mm -hmm. uh, that'd be kind of the way you could look at it. Okay. Uh, yeah, and then underneath that, we just have two very simple sections kind of broken up into a 50-50, kind of wanted it to look like a, an interface, not really of a spaceship, but using those sort of, sorts of colors, the gradients left to right, the gray to white, mm -hmm. um, and keeping it, keeping it minimal again. Mm -hmm. Yep. 
And so, and as, you, as you rolled over these, you'd get that yellow pop up, yep. real bright on the screen, which would match the top. Yeah. Okay. So to me, maybe it's just my screen, but the primary button and the primary hover, they look almost identical to me. Yeah, they are. It needs to be pushed a little bit further. The gradient on this can be a little darker on the bottom, so I can change that. Okay. Um, or maybe it's a matter of like, should it go go gray when you have? I don't know. It just looks, looks. I mean, even playing around with some shadows on that hover could get the job done. Yeah. I'll, I'll leave it to you guys to come up with another rabbit. They just look too similar to me. Yeah. You won't ever see them side by side either, so it'll be like, as you hover over, it'll be a different experience. It'll be a lot easier to grasp in the browser mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when you interact with it with the mouse. Mm -hmm. um, and then what, I guess what's, what I don't see on here is like a, the header. I know we're planning on, oh, there it is. It's up top. Okay. And then yeah, the, so what color? So we'll just uh, drop it down into black, which is what we've done in the footer. We'll just drop what is currently okay. blue down to black for now, which totally works. Okay. Yep. And then it would just have a hover hover color. Yeah. Uh, yes. Like a even if Does it's it... just gray or something. Then... Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Um, can you scroll down to the footer real quick? Mm -hmm. So design wise, we want to start kind of playing at the rocket a little bit more, just like visually because we don't tie them together too much which we don't want to do because they really just don't work well together but if we could make that pop a little more so i would just make that bright white yeah cool um Josh, why don't you switch over to the icon view real quick the icon view yeah you're at the tab it's still loading. Oh, it's loading. So, <laughs> oh my god. It looks like it's still working. Oh my god. Okay, can, can we you see just the load up locally? Mm -hmm. Well, that's not what we're looking at the show. We're looking for the, the icon section. I actually am with Giles on that, that the icons I found to be very distracting. They were all of my attention, and that's not what they're designed to do. Uh, I didn't feel like it was helping. I actually thought it might be a a giant distraction from the copy. So, um, that's my two cents. There's the icons. Like, my eyes are just drawn to that, and I totally, totally miss the top, you know? Mm -hmm. I just don't want it to look like every other website. No. Oh, is it maybe a matter of how they're placed? Like, could the icon it be in between the headline and the copy in the boxes? I don't know. Maybe it's too kind of too much space in between. Well, are we throwing icons there for the sake of throwing icons there? Yeah, <laughs> that's what it seems like. Yeah, it, it feels very decorative. Do. It does look yeah. decorative, but I agree. I understand the desire to not want to make it just look like another site too. Let's let's speak to CTAs for a minute. Like, here's kind of a secondary option that's got the rounded edges. If you go back to that mock-up. Um, we were just on my agile. Um, the that more of that, yeah, this shape here. Um, if you want to kind of blend, and you can always get to the total pinnacle later. You know, we what we do we need to do in order to be ready on time is we got to get started on this, like in code uh, mm -hmm. across the site. Um, do, do you want to kind of make a decision too? Because it is fairly changeable later. We just need to be ready. You know? Yeah. Um. My gut reaction is that I visually like the those rounded squares, but again, I, I kind of think like, I don't know, actually, I kind of am going back and forth. The, uh, the, the, if you notice, like Digital Telepathy, which is my favorite design agency, they're just extremely expensive. Um, like, they uh, they have totally round buttons, and they have for a little while now, and then the old it is coming, it is coming, you know? Uh, I don't I know, feel like I, you're... Yeah, reverting. Like in twenty in twenty fourteen, pill, rounded pills 
buttons looks very dated. I, I do think that that's starting to change. You know? Yeah, I, honestly, I let's go with the belt. I think I most of all my most compelling reason is, is I like the reasoning behind Miles's design, Giles's design choice. Sorry, you guys kill me and call together. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that so let's go with that. Hill. Okay. Cool. So we'll get that started getting coded so it can start to appear across the site, as well as we'll work that into here as well. Yeah. Um, the only design thing that I'm going back and forth on my head um, is the, um, if you can scroll up just to the top, it's the, I like how it looks, but like the bold, like what we do, but again, I think it's going to matter what copy we can put there and what's going to fit is like, you know, it's not a, I don't want to distract from what we really want people to do. What actually goes back to like, what are we even asking? What are those buttons even going to have on them? Because in the wireframe, we don't have any CTAs in the hero. Right. It, it's very unclear what the best choices would be to start them on a journey. I could tell you where I'd like it to get to, but maybe you're going to launch CTA less. But if you had like, you know, um, grow my startup and fuel for innovation, like you would just have to have a key page for grow my startup and talking about the ways you can do it. You don't have some right, page yeah, and there's no process. I mean, yeah. and also for phase one, if we do, we are building this to be completely modular, so you'll be able to remove all of these CTAs, but if you just want to have okay. something that scrolls down to the section below, that's an easy add. Well, I just want to make sure that if we do remove the CTAs and it is modular, that it doesn't look like there's too much space. But it, that those that looks okay with those gone. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, we could because for launch Monday we won't have those. Yeah. Because I think that's, that that's on point. I think that drawn out copy looks nice if you have those buttons there. My fear is is that it would it might not work well if those aren't there. What we may need to do is put one of those scrollers in there, um, basically just pointing you down. Um, does that make sense? You know what I mean by that? Nope. Here I can oh, get you to an example. Like the little, like, like TP thing? The, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Like, hey, like, like, imagine, you know when you see, like, a little mouse that basically is just saying, hey, scroll here. You can kind of fill the space with that. OK. I'm trying to get to a good example of that really quick. Um, I thought I knew one, but it did not happen. So uh, I, I will say for the sake of time, they should go down. I will say for the sake of time that it would be a little bit faster just to use a CTA to accomplish that same goal as opposed to having to create a completely separate thing that we're only going to use for a temporary period of time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, 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 you just have something like boldly go and, and have that actually like point downwards or something. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah, exactly. Because it has to convey what it's going to do or you shouldn't, or no one's going to click on it. Yeah. So I, like don't, if it, I don't want to use a has tagline a on a CTA. That's, no. That's, that's fine. Um, I um, mean, it could be learn more and then it scrolls people down. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here's, um, yeah, I'm gonna pull share my screen really quick. I don't think I gotta find this tab. Um, uh, here comes the share screen. Flip over to me for a second. Here's something we made. This is, I would have loved it if this would have been a secondary CTA instead of primary, but but like it'll fill the space. It's easy to make, and we can work on key pages later. You know what I mean? Sorry, what what do you say, Ken? Oh, can you see my screen? Has a yeah, lot of yeah, no, on it? no, I can. So, what do you? Okay, yeah. So, uh, this, I'm just saying that we take one of the CPAs and make a learn more. Yeah, that's you know? fine. Yeah. And this is them down. That's fine. Yeah. It works. Okay, cool. Um, see, right, I'm sweet. so reasonable. So, yeah. Yeah. You guys are. Um, mm -hmm. Like, because we're measuring our time to live in hours, but yes. <laughs> the, uh, yeah, but no, that's great. Um, Giles, what else do you need to know in order to move forward? Um, 
What about can you guys just do of... me a favor? Can you do me a favor? Can I just see what it looks like using that like big, bold Helvetica new treatment up top? Just want to see it. And then yeah. you also, just look for the email copy that I sent you because I'm trying to like picture it all together and it's just not working. Um, so where we have ex Accelerate Innovation. Accelerate Innovation, yeah. I think I sent some copy. I just need to dig it up. Uh, I, I'll look for it, but you want it all to be, you want to close down the spacing and put it in bold? Yeah, I just want to see what it would look like. I like what you've done. Mm -hmm. I just kind of want to bounce yeah, yeah. it off of stuff. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> cool. So, as an action item coming out of this, we need to confirm the final copy for the top. We're going to show it in a different font with the copy that you've sent, Ashley. Um, and then we'll make a decision on how that's going to go. The rest of it, it sounds like we can start coding with the exception of the space section down below. I'd like to make sure we know exactly what messaging we're putting on there, if any, and exactly what images you kind of like on there is different than what's on there. I think we might have just pull, pulled some stuff from the lookbook. No, I honestly, um, like, I love that. I was just more thinking of, like, what's the point of this? What is it serving? Is this just filler? Like, I'm just more thinking from a user experience point of view. And visually, I love it. Gotcha. So let me share my screen one more time real quick. Um, here's a, another website we built uh, this year. And to break up some of its content, we just have this parallax section. I, I view the, I view the, what we're going to code there as something similar. It's just okay. it's yeah. breaking up content sections. Yep. Uh, I have a question in coding for you. Uh, as we look at the, uh, the, uh, sorry, can't talk, it's wrong. I'll start over. Um, as we look at the bottom section where we have those two CTAs, is too good to cut it? You need the ability to stack four there because it, it'll affect how we code this if we're gonna put more than two there. We could also put two rows of two if you feel like you would want, you know, um, the ability to pro profile London and Australia and, you know, some accelerator and something else. Yeah, I think um, I think I'd like to have the opportunity to do more if we can. Um, so, but I'm also cognizant of like I don't know the complexity involved. So if you can only give me two between now and getting this to launch, I'll live with two and we can add more later. So Miles, we can build that where we just add two more to it, kind of like when we add team members. I don't know what that's called. What do you call flex that? column. I and just yeah, don't know it's if possible. it's gonna look good, if it'll look good like two rows of two or whether it should be, you know, we should fit more on one. I don't know. I'll let, I'll leave that to you guys. But let, let us just take care of that. But I'd like okay. to build it for the option so that we're not immediately confined. One yep. of the things that I feel slightly throws it off of, like, perfect with that large parallax section is it's a large par parallax section leading you to, like, 120 pixels and a footer. Like, if there's almost a little bit more meat there, it would it almost would balance more, in my opinion. I don't know. I haven't bounced that off of Giles yet, but Giles, any thoughts there? Um, I'm... Uh... I would stick to two if you want. If you wanted more, I, I would go for three columns. I wouldn't stack them on top of each other. Four of those or two of those stacked on top of each other next to each other is not going to look great. It's going to be too much to look at. Uh, in my yeah. opinion, I would go for a different design. I would go for three col. Okay, and three is probably going to be too tight, frankly. Like it's it's going to yeah, be office. It's going to be the office of spacious. <laughs> it's going to be clear. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, right. this section um, is essentially is kind of like latest news, but you get to choose what news you're publishing there, right? So, it's something that you yeah. could limit to. Cool. All right, and then actually, what I I envision this page being is just a version one that will probably will become larger and deeper. Yep. And then yep. This is this is fine. Yep. And then. Later in the month, maybe we can work on that version two. Maybe we'll mock up a version for you, throw it to you before you hit vacation. 